All right, so I just wanted to testify um, regarding answered prayer. So my wife, Colleen, I asked um, Ian and Johan to pray last week. Uh, she's got some growths on her thyroid and some of which are quite large. And she'd had a scan and they said there might be a slight risk of cancer. For the longest time, I've been longing for a greater intimacy in prayer and in my own prayer life. And it's not that my prayer life was bad. Um, there were many, many good things that I'm grateful for, but I was longing for more. So my wife and I got married and then we, we came over to Singapore and we, God has got a plan for us here as well in Singapore. The first few months was quite hectic, quite difficult, um, fell to a spiritual low and then yeah, God just um, started talking to me. Anshin was actually praying that we, we get into a, a new church in Singapore and um, God was just speaking and, and working with me. One month ago, my helper actually um, initially started with food poisoning then she developed cough and the cough came with blood. So when she had that, we sent her to A&E on August the 9th and um, within half an hour, the doctor just said that she has to be admitted for observations. For three days before the church camp, I had a fall and it was quite a bad one. I went to the hospital and had an x-ray and the x-ray shows that I have a hairline crack on my, in one of my ribs, I think it's the eighth rib. And uh, they gave me some painkillers and uh, during the church camp I survived mostly on the, on the painkillers. So as we started reading the book of Acts, I was really asking God if he would speak to me the way he spoke to uh, the disciples and he spoke to them in the book of Acts. To the extent without the ventilator, she can't breathe at all. Okay, and her oxygen level was so low that they had no choice but to observe her, put her on a high dosage of antibiotics. And uh, when I came in the next morning, the doctor told me to let her family know to be prepared for the worst because the next 72 hours is very critical that she may just go. And I realized that it's necessary to do it. and, and we met up with friends and they showed us in a direction and we ended up at COJ and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sharing this testimony to, to lift up myself or anything but it's, it's amazing how this community have welcomed us with Walmart and it's, it's so amazing just to be here, to be growing spiritually and just to experience God. So we, are, we just want to thank you for everything that you guys are doing for us and, and it's a testimony because it shows God's favor, it shows that God is the same in Singapore as he was in South Africa and we've, we've experienced, we, we're experiencing him here in the same way. So we just want to thank you guys and we just want to praise God for his goodness. And, and while we were on uh, a plane, um, God spoke to me and he spoke to me about the lady sitting next to me and he gave me a scripture to share with her and uh, I had to step out. I was a little bit anxious because she looked like she was uh, not the most warm person from who she was speaking to on the phone. So, so we just... Um, prayed about that, that uh, there would be no cancer involved and she went back, had another scan and they took a biopsy of each of the three lumps and it came back all clear. So I just want to praise God for that and thank Him for answered prayer. 11 days in ICU, suddenly she got better okay? and she went to high dependency and within one day she got transferred to general ward and within two days she was discharged. But I said, God, I'm going to trust you. And I shared the scripture with her after I started talking to her a little bit and warming up. And it was the most encouraging thing because it was what she needed and what she wanted. And I got to encourage her about what that scripture said and God's plans for her life in her old age and how she was going to unite the family, um, that her family was very broken. And I was just so encouraged by God's specific word in a circumstance for this world outside. And that's what the book of Acts is all about, how God uses absolutely ordinary people to do extraordinary things. So, thank you, Lord. On the last day, Kent, right, our guest speaker, felt uh, in the spirit that uh, there's someone who has some pain at, at the back and somewhere around uh, the lower back. So I went up to be prayed. And uh, I feel a sensation Know, the heat, the warmth, you know, as he begins to pray. And I felt much, much better after that. 
But when I came back, I went to the hospital again to have a second look. When they took the another X-ray, and they saw it that you know it was miraculously healed. The crack is gone. The hairline crack is gone. And this week, I was traveling to Zurich. Um, coming back in the aeroplane, I had quite a bit of time. I was quite relaxed, and uh, in and just started praying. And I had an incredible time of prayer. Um, in such a way that it's almost like I've never prayed before because when there's always more in God and uh, when he comes through and when you have that incredibly intimate time that you know in the depth of your being you've been with the Savior God the one who made this whole whole world who is control of everything who rules and reigns uh, that changes everything and I can tell you my life has not been the same I am so grateful to God amen and I believe you know you God is faithful, right? and if you persevere, even through the pains, that the physical pains you may have, but you have Him in focus, He's always there for you.